Digital publishers generally see around 80 to 90% of their traffic from mobile. So if you're looking to grow your WordPress content site, news site, or established blog, you need a strong mobile presence. We've created this video to show you the most effective way to create a mobile app to go hand in hand with your WordPress content site. When creating a mobile app for your WordPress site, you have a number of options to consider. The main options you have when it comes to creating your mobile app are code the mobile app yourself, work with an app development agency, use a do-it-yourself app builder, or use a WordPress specific app development service. I'm gonna walk you through the options available to you and review the pros and cons of each to help you choose the best option for your business. Let's jump into the first method. Number one is develop your mobile app in-house. This is for those of you with the technical ability to either develop an app yourself or build an internal team capable of creating a mobile app. Now here are some of the pros of this method. You can start from scratch so you can influence every tiny detail of the app user experience. The WordPress REST API exposes most of the site's data in a usable format for your app, supports secure logins, and means you can integrate your existing content without being too much trouble. And you don't need to waste any time on educating an external team on the goals for your app as your in-house development team will already know about your business. You can revise your mobile app as much as you want during the build and afterwards, and that is a huge pro. Feedback and edits will go more smoothly as your team is accustomed to working together. And you'll have a good oversight of your project as your development team resides in-house. Now these pros are all good, but there are some cons to this method. The first con is the development process is time consuming and you can expect to spend several months creating your app. You'll need to take you and your team away from other projects and opportunities. Also, your web developers will have to learn how to code an app using a hybrid framework like PhoneGap, learn React Native to build a cross-platform native app with JavaScript, or you'll have to hire mobile app developers, at least two, as they tend to specialize in either iOS or Android. Another con is without close monitoring and scheduling, you might be tempted to revise, 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 and that can be time consuming and can cost a lot more money. And the last con is if you publish to both the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store, your team will have to follow two different workflows to get your apps approved. Now let's get into the second method, which is to hire an app development agency to create the app. Now this is for the enterprises that want to outsource app development to a dedicated app development agency. Let's take a look at some of the pros of an app development agency. The first is you will get a completely custom mobile app that fits your requirements. Now this will free your team from the responsibilities of developing the app and hiring an agency with extensive development experience guarantees professional results. And don't forget that app development agencies understand app development best practices as well as UI UX best practices. They will also conduct deep research into your audience as well as the competition. Now that was the pros, let's take a look at some of the cons for this method. You're building up an app completely from scratch, having to create everything from scratch. This will be time consuming and expensive compared to building on top of an established platform. Agency fees are high. You pay for the quality and expertise they provide. Expect to spend between 50 and $100,000 on your app development. The more stakeholders involved from your side of the fence can create undue friction. In general, the high cost of working with an app development agency is a key factor when it comes to making the decision. You can expect to spend at least $50,000 to $100,000 to get an app built with most agencies and around three to $5,000 a month of ongoing maintenance and updates whenever Apple or Google releases a new operating system update or a new device. The third option is to use a DIY app builder to create your app. A popular option for many people building an app is to go with a plugin or a DIY app builder. This option is for anyone who wants to build their own app but doesn't have a huge budget to spend. If you have a good amount of free time and you want to keep costs low, then a DIY app builder could be for you. There are a range of app builders like Appy Pie, Good Barber, and App Institute that can work to get your idea off the ground, but you shouldn't expect your app to compare to one of an agency. Let's take a look at some of the pros of this option. You can build a mobile app with no coding experience with some basic app templates. There's no need to spend time researching and interviewing developers to build your app. 
You can get your app created relatively quickly, but you'll need to dedicate your own time to it. And trying to get your templates to work for your business's case can be difficult. Now that was some of the pros to this option. Let's take a look at some of the cons. The first one is prepare to spend hours tinkering with templates and point and click interfaces. You won't find every feature or content type that your site offers in your app. There will always be some sort of limitation. Now free plans come with restrictions on traffic, storage, analytics, customization, or may not be white label or include ads. Now if your WordPress site uses plugins, you'll probably be prevented from using those in your app. If you want to move your app to another platform later on, it will be difficult and you'll probably need to rebuild it from scratch. With this option, you'll need to handle everything to do with submitting your apps to the app stores and most DIY builders do not offer this as a service or they might charge an additional fee. Also be aware that support and assistance is limited on DIY app builders. If your business is brand new and you don't have the funds to tap into, a DIY builder can be a great solution for testing out an idea. If you have plans to significantly grow your business and use your app as a revenue generation machine, you're gonna need much more than the basics offered in most DIY builders. Now the fourth option is use MobiLoud, a WordPress specific app development service. If you are a well-established media site, news publication, or business producing content, then MobiLoud will be the right solution for you. We offer a completely done for you service where we convert your WordPress news or content website into a custom mobile app. Our publishing platform was built for digital publishers and our apps published for our customers have been downloaded by millions of users. We publish your apps to the iOS app store and Google Play store stores for you and provide ongoing updates and maintenance all at the fraction of a cost of a traditional app development agency. Let's take a look at some of the pros of this option. The first pro is your app is completely custom, styled to your liking and integrated with all of your existing WordPress website features like advertising and subscriptions. MobiLoud is designed specifically for media publishers using WordPress with over 900 plus apps published and millions of people having used apps by MobiLoud. Your app will also have every feature a media publisher needs from advertising integrations, analytics, and push notifications. Your app will be built and published within weeks rather than in months if it was built with a traditional agency. After launching, your app will provide frequent updates, performance improvements, and will always be available to help. Also, your app can be integrated with your existing paywall, or you can rely on in-app purchases for subscriptions to be paid for. Now, those were some of the pros of this option. Let's take a look at some of the cons. The first one is your website needs to be in good working order and be hosted on a performing server capable of responding to the additional load of the app. If you have a slow website, your app will run slow too. Another con is it won't be quite as cheap as a DIY app builder. With a WordPress specific app creation service such as MobiLoud, you can have your app built by an experienced team at a fraction of the cost and time of a traditional app development agency. Within weeks, your app will be launched in the app stores and you'll be able to start growing your mobile traffic and engagement with push notifications. If you wanna learn more, you can schedule a call with one of our app experts Experts, or you can take a look at our website in the video description below. These are the four most popular ways to develop a mobile app for your WordPress website. If you're looking to build something completely custom and are a large enterprise, then going the more expensive agency route could be what you're looking for. If you just want to test the water and don't have a big budget for a new app, then a DIY web builder or a plugin is probably what you want to get started quick. But if you wanna have the content that you're already posting on your WordPress website in your custom mobile app, integrated with all of your website's features, then MobiLoud is for you. MobiLoud is ideal if you don't have the time to develop a custom app in-house and you wanna work with a reliable partner that focuses on the exact problem you have. So those are the four main options when it comes to developing an app. You can choose to develop in-house, use a traditional agency, use a DIY app builder, or go with a specific solution for a WordPress content site, such as MobiLoud. If you want to learn more about any of the options we talked about today, I'm adding relevant links in the description below. So check those out and hopefully this video helps.